All right, guys, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you what I started at and how I worked my way down to the point zero eight two. Okay, so we're at point five three. Let's see. When I started this tapering method, I was at point zero eight five milligrams per day. So we're here at 0 0.085, and I did that for a good month before I tapered down. And when I tapered down, I tapered down to 0 crazy how sensitive this scale is because it doesn't look like I'm adding anything whatsoever. And now I'm over. <laughs> so it takes a little bit getting used to the scale itself. And now I'm at 0 0.081 just too little. Oh, it switched to 082. So that's where I tapered down to. And now I'm at 0 0.080, which is even less. But it's really not that big of a difference. But just in those three little weights, I see a large amount of side effects going from one to the other. I was holding for about a month in between the cuts. You see now it switched to 7.9. So I would put a little back in. It's really annoying. You do get used to it eventually and it gets easier when you're not trying to make a video. still 79. It's good to have a good amount of powder in there to help you get it weighed out correctly because if you have chunks in there it's going to tip the scale really fast. Now I'm at 81 so you can see how sensitive this is. Now, not everybody is going to go this slow. Not everyone is going to have uh, the amount of side effects that I do. You could actually go up and taper down twice as much, three times as much, five times as much if you want to. Or you could taper down a hundredth of a milligram at a time. So this is why I created this method for myself, is because I needed to be able to go as slow as I possibly could have least amount of side effects as possible, but I needed it to be stable and know that I'm getting the right amount each night. 
and I wanted to make this a little bit easier for people who have other health issues like I do. Like with my Crohn's, any type of stress is going to make my other conditions worse. So people with epilepsy and people with other health issues need to be able to really control their taper. So this is the way that I would suggest tapering if you want to have the most control over what you are putting into your body at that time. Um, it's a lot more accurate than say just cutting up one pill per day and putting it in your body. This way might help you stabilize easier and faster, give you more control, and ultimately you'll have less side effects and end up off the medication faster than if you were to be sick the whole entire time. You're still going to have side effects, but you're not going to feel quite as rough as if you were changing your dosage daily. So hopefully this makes sense and I'm not rambling too much and uh, helps some people out. So um, yeah, I guess let me know if you have anything to add or any questions and hopefully this helps you stabilize too.